Hello magical butterflies. This is Xtina from Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I hope you are having a magical day, night, or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you are subscribed, please make sure to hit the bell notification so you are notified when I post a new video. If you are interested in booking a guidance reading or a guidance session with me, they can be booked in my Etsy shop. The link to my Etsy shop along with my list of services is listed below. If you are interested in purchasing one of the decks I created or the Twin Flame Music deck I co-created with my soul sister, if you are in the United States, you can purchase them in my Etsy shop. If you are international, there is a special ordering link for you below my Instagram, my Facebook, my Patreon butterfly community, my blog website, and my donation links are listed below. This reading is going to be a general collective reading for those who resonate with a soulmate and soul flame love connection. This will be general, so please use your own discernment. When watching this video, please only take what speaks directly to your soul, and what doesn't speak directly to your soul, release it and let it fly. The format spread I'm going to be using is the same format spread I use in my Soulmates Soul Flames Intuition Guidance Reading. It is a pre-recorded 20-minute reading, so if you like this format, if you would like to get your own personal guidance reading on your Soulmate or Soul Flame Love Connection, you can book this reading in my Etsy shop. So let's get into the overall energy the current headspace and the current heart space for your person just to see where they're at energetically when it comes to you and your soulmate soul flame connection the deck i'm going to be using is divine connections oracle the queen of light 11 11. on the road to union <clears throat> and distorted feminine so my throat's starting to act up, so I feel your person wants to come in with some type of communication. I feel the distorted feminine is how they left the connection with you, and now your person is in the energy where they want to come back with a second chance. In their headspace, they are testing the water and Surya, sun god. So that just shows me your person in the sense karate chopped their fears ego close to karmic cycle and now they're thinking about how they can come in to test the water with you because i feel for some of you you and this person have not seen or spoken to each other in some time in their heart space when it comes to you they have dating and laxim Laxmima, new opportunities. So I feel your person feels they missed an opportunity with you, but now they want to come in with a new opportunity, a new offer. Because your person is gaining the strength to speak to you. They might be using the help of a third party, maybe a mutual friend, or they're getting advice from their friends or family. But this Divine Masculine, if you resonate with a Divine Masculine counterpart, is wanting to return. He is listening to his intuition to help him make the decision to come to his Divine Feminine. So this Divine Masculine is in his power and so is the Divine Feminine and see the lightning bolts, you two are manifesting each other to come back into your lives. So next, we'll get the blocks, the obstacles, the conflicts, and the challenges that are currently happening in your soulmate or soul flame love connection. Now these can be yours your persons or both of you and I will bring forth a guidance message or guidance messages on what needs to surrender on how to clear heal 
purge or release each one. The decks I'll be using for this is Divine Connections Tarot by Queen of Light 1111 and the Power of Surrender Cards by Judith Orloff. So the first block is the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is number five, change. In the past, both you and your person were very resistant to change, very afraid of change. And now you both are being shown it's okay to change because you both are seeing that you must surrender to trust. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So you both are in a good energy and you both are trusting the process. Trusting that change is happening for your highest and greatest good. Going more with the flow, not second guessing and really staying grounded and staying in that intuition because I also see the Hierophant as the marriage card. So I really feel that your person and you are looking for that long-term commitment in marriage. Next is the Four of Pentacles. So I'm drawn to the mask that he's wearing. So I feel in the past your person has worn a mask where they were not authentic, they were not honest, and they held back. And what I'm feeling intuitively is that your person learned to surrender to silence in quiet meditation or contemplation. Let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. So your person learned to drown out the noise, the white noise in their head, that ego brought in and it is bringing a sense of balance to your person where they're working on themselves and fours I always see as being able to manifest a new opportunity and the lovers so when you and your person came together you may have been together <clears throat> for a bit could have been a few months maybe less than that but there was some block that kept the two of you from really connecting on a higher level. And that is because a karmic lesson needed to be learned. Because for one or both of you, and this could be more your person or you, take it as it resonates, surrendering your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in, compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. So if fear of commitment, fear of being intimate, fear of being open and vulnerable, letting the heart chakra be open, putting your guard down if that was happening with you or your person or both of you, what it's doing, this energy is being released. So the masculine in this connection can overcome his obstacles and find balance within himself. And the feminine can become the magician where she manifests things that she actually wants to happen in her life instead of calling in things she does not <clears throat> and you both are just being shown the guidance as the masculine is in the king of swords energy and the feminine is in the magician energy surrender to the wonder and awe open to the magic of every moment and sense that on wonder in all of life this attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow so surrender to the wonder and awe of life all that life has to offer and trust and just know that all is aligning for you and all is happening in this connection as it should and they're telling me to pull from the bottom of the deck four of cups reevaluation will bring in the nine of cups a rebirth a new beginning and a solid love offer so next, I'm going to bring forth guidance messages. So this is going to be guidance for you, the viewer, on what you need to know, any action steps you might be guided to take, either in this love connection <clears throat> or your personal journey of self-love and healing. 
I'm going to be using three decks for this section. The first deck I'm using is The Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle by Lucy Cavendish, Magical Messages from the Fairies, and The Soulmate Cards, Nurturing and Attracting Loving Relationships by Tony Carmine Salerno. So let's get into your first guidance deck. Your first card is Follow Me. Number 23, which equals a five. And I'm actually hearing the song Follow Me by Uncle Cracker. So I will link that song below as that song has a special message for someone watching this video. Fives are about change. Come, this is your invitation to enter the realm of fairy. So change is here. This card represents change. Follow me, take my hand, go down this road. Because there's a gift that is waiting for you. 47, which equals an 11. 11 is the number of new beginnings. It also equals a two, which is about partnerships and balance. So following this new beginning will bring you the gift of change, a present and offer nurturance growth potential. So you'll be able to nurture yourself, this connection. You will continue on your spiritual growth and there is potential for a love offer to come in from your person. And green man's door, number 40, which equals a four, portals to fairy, wheel of the year, galactic and Gaian entry points. Connecting with nature is really what I'm getting from this card. So if you are an earth sign, this could be a special message for you if you're Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm really just feeling earth signs are really getting into this energy, especially gearing up for Taurus season that is happening at the end of this month. I just really feel earth signs are more in balance to have this change and gift come in because they're really getting into their element energy, especially if you live in the Northern Hemisphere where spring season is happening right now. And for the rest of you that are not resonating with the earth sign message, green man's bride, number 38, which equals an 11. So we have another 11, sacred union, commitment, ceremony, maturing into a deep relationship. So see how these are very similar backgrounds. So the collective that is resonating with this video you're getting grounded, you're getting stable, you're connecting to Earth, Mother Gaia, Ganesha. Maybe your spirit totems are connecting with you. Things are just blooming because everything is getting green now. If you live in the part of the world where, the, where spring is happening and it is helping something birth and bloom with sacred union to bring forth this new beginning. And fairy lovers, number 46, which equals a 10. And 10s, I always see as new cycle starting. So this green man's bride, earth sign energy is bringing in new love. Courtship, romance, falling in love. So this could be a brand new person. This could be a person from the past where it's going to feel like a new person. But there is the energy of love in the air. And silver sisters, number nine. Time to take protection from toxic thoughts and energy. So Silver Sisters is just reminding you to listen to your intuition, to stay connected to your soul tribe, to be surrounded by people who uplift you, who support you, who don't take advantage of you and don't try to manipulate you. Connecting with your soul tribe, moving forward, embracing the change, and following your new path. Next, summer. Everything that you're asking for becomes yours in the summertime. So for those who are ready to manifest love, summer union or summer reunion is going to come. Now this could be the summer months of June through September, or if it's not those months, this could be significant if you have a birthday in the summer or summer is your favorite season. Take it as it resonates with this being general, but I'm really just feeling with summer, the warmth, the sun is going to shine. And here we go with birthday. 
can't make this up. <laughs> a significant birthday holds the answer to your question. So for those that have a summer birthday or your person has a summer birthday, there's going to be some type of magic in the air, some type of gift. And you're just being advised to connect with nature. You've rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. So again, connecting with nature is really coming through, staying grounded, staying stable, being in that earth energy is going to help bring in a very magical winter season, which is the months of December through March. The answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months. So maybe by the winter, you and your person are going to be in a very solid relationship. But just remember, don't get attached to timelines because everything is going to happen in perfect timing. But this is the right time for you to move forward. So if you are not sure if you should be moving forward, this is your sign to start making plans is what I'm hearing. Okay. So I'm just going to clear these cards away before I get into the final guidance deck for your reading. Now these little soulmate cards, they will have advice and guidance, but sometimes the cards will come out with messages of channeled messages from your person's higher self. So I will call that out if the card has that. So I'm going to attempt to spread them out, but sometimes they don't spread out. No, nope, they're not going to spread out on this tarot cloth. So I'll just intuitively choose. Okay, so your first message is from Spirit. You are entering a period of positive change, deep and profound transformations that occur at the deepest level of your being. You emerge with a renewed passion for life full of romance and creativity so what i'm getting is that the tough times are over things are going to be shifting things are going to be a lot easier when you go with the flow and you surrender and you don't try to force the river you just go with it you have transformed and you have found inner peace and you are learning through the trials and tribulations of this love connection that love overcomes all obstacles. A change in attitude is all it takes to turn things around. Trust in love's power. It will transform you and the one you love. All will soon be clear. So, and all soon will clear. So things are clearing for you. You're overcoming obstacles. You're understanding that a change in attitude, if you were very negative, pessimistic, you shifted to positive, optimistic, and you learned to trust in love powers, meaning you tuned into your intuition and not let your ego guide you. And that is helping you transform and get into this period of positive change so you can bring in something new. And I'm, I'm just hearing Archangel Michael, so he's coming through with this message. You are a beautiful and sensitive soul. Love's objective is to help you remember who you truly are an eternal being of light on a path to ever greater love. So you are a beautiful and sensitive soul. Don't forget how beautiful you are. And your love life will transform when you learn to truly love yourself just as you are. You are perfect just the way you are. Accept this and you will be amazed by the changes it brings into your life. So I'm having a couple songs come through. So I'm going to just grab a quick piece of paper to write them down. So the first one that's coming through, I lost it, but I'm sure it'll come back. But I'm hearing um, Turn Your Love Around by George Benson. So I will link that song below. What was the other song? You will love yourself. Your love life will transform when you learn to truly love yourself just as you are. Oh, beautiful by Christina Aguilera is coming through. And I've been having that song come out a lot um, when I do readings on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram and you want to, I do get a lot of songs through there as well. So these songs will be listed below. If they're not in the description box, they will be in the comment section as a pinned comment if they don't fit. And a new love is coming your way. Yet in order for this to manifest, you must first release the past. Are you ready? 
All it takes is a conscious desire to do so. And the love that emanates from my beloved's heart is light that stems from the mind of God, Goddess. Through each other, we become one. I give thanks for the endless blessing that is you. So this card is a channeled message from your person's higher self to you. And the final section for this reading is going to be possible future energy. Now this is possible future energy. It is not set in stone. It is what can happen, what may happen. If you and your person do your work, follow your guidance and make the free will decision to come together as energy does change daily. The deck I will be using for this is Messages of Love Oracle Cards by All Things Intuitive. Children. Children are important to this partnership. So what I'm getting from this card you and your person are meant to have a child. Not for all of you, but some of you know this could be a child you physically give birth to or your person does or the two of you adopt. But there is a child or someone has learned to heal inner child wounds, which is going to bring in healed energy in the future. So this caused a retreat, but this was a necessary retreat because it helped bring an awakening and a new beginning. It helped bring stability to both you and your person to bring in this soulmate connection into the 3D to show both of you it is okay to be vulnerable because you want to be vulnerable so you don't put out the energy of being unavailable. Anything that was rejected in the past was for divine protection, but going forward, an apology is coming in for some of you Anything that was obsession, ego-based, is going to be released. The Twin Flame card is coming through, so this is really just the Twin Flame energy of deep soul connection, healing, and telepathy. Because there is a deep chemistry between the two of you, so you two are going to manifest each other in the physical. And this is going to feel like an addiction because you two are going to be very connected to each other. There's going to be a very strong attraction to each other. But it's going to be a beautiful new love. So this is a person from the past or a brand new person. So you two are going to take your time getting to know each other again to avoid any interference that may have happened in the past. You two are going to learn that you can trust each other as well as yourselves and that everything that happened in the past was a spiritual lesson. But this connection is going to be very rewarding it's going to bring abundance. Trust your intuition when it comes to this person so you don't have regret. Instead, you will have balance and you will put away the computer, the phone, and be present with each other. And a leap of faith is going to be made based on intuition. And for some of you, the two of you are going to work together and decisions will be made on what you two want in the future and this is a faded partnership that is meant to come together so i do hope this reading has brought you clarity and guidance for those who resonate with a soulmate soul flame love connection if this resonated let me know in the comment section below give this video a thumbs up if it didn't resonate no worries hopefully i will tap into your energy on my next collective reading or if you feel guided to, you can book a guidance reading or session with me when it comes to your love connection. Love and light to you.